What is going on everybody? Hey, we all doing and welcome back today to a brand new informed play review on FIFA 17 and today we're going to be looking at Swansea star man Gilfie Siggins and he was picked up this inform actually at striker quite bizarrely but if you do enjoy this play review make sure to leave a big thumbs up on the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new around here as well that is always massively appreciated but without any further ado let's get stuck into this. So Gilfie Siggerson, his basic information is standing at 6 foot and 1 inches tall, his work rates are high to medium and he comes with a pretty basic 3 star weak foot and 3 star skill move set. He's top of in game stats in his base card. You're looking at an 84 rated striker, but I actually converted him back to Cam, which is his more natural position and where he plays best, in my opinion. Uh, his base card, you're looking at 70 pace. 82 dribbling, 85 shooting, 85 passing, 73 physical, 57 defending, and uh, that's a pretty well-rounded card for Cam in my opinion. He's top five in games. You're looking at an amazing 91 free kick accuracy, 89 curve, 87 vision, 87 long shots, and 86 shot power. And he also comes with a long shot taker, playmaker, corner specialist, and finesse style free kicks traits and specialities. You can see the team that we used to be on screen now. It's actually the exact same team that I used to brought in, except we brought in Borja Bast on to give, uh, give him the links to keep him on full chem. And you can see in the five games that we played with him, he came away with a very nice return of five goals and three assists. We'll start getting some of the clips of Sigurdsson in action now. And I've got to say, he's a player that I really, really like in real life, so I was really pleased that he managed to pick up this informed card. I knew he was going to be reasonably cheap and a card that I was probably going to enjoy. And uh, like I said, it's a bit bizarre that he came out as a striker. That is, of course, where he played at the weekend for Swansea. I would not recommend playing him there. I'll say that straight off the bat. I just don't think he's got the pace. He hasn't got the four-star skill moves for that kind of thing. And he's finishing as well in a one-on-one -on -one position. Isn't? It's not bad, but it's not striker-worthy in my opinion. Uh, the positives of this card... Everything about him, technically, you're talking ball control, we're talking from set pieces, shooting, passing, all that stuff is absolutely fantastic. His negatives, on the other hand, are everything you'd expect the reader, the more physical side to him. He doesn't feel too weak, but he's very slow, he's not quite, he's not great off the mark, and he's also uh, not very agile at all at times. I don't want to say it can feel like turning a buzz, that's a bit of, a, bit of an exaggeration, sorry, but he's certainly not the quickest on the turn. Overall, we're going to be giving this uh, Sigerson card a 7.8 out of 10. Highly, highly recommend if you're going to use him to uh, play him in that camp position. When he is in that position, he can link up the play reader nicely. His passing, like I've already mentioned, is very, very nice. He's just someone that can... He, I, I use the word linchpin quite a lot when I use cams, but he's someone, like I say, can just link together, particularly in the 4 3 one two, like I was using. Link together that front three. He can be providing goals. He can finish off goals. He's just a very well-rounded camp card. It, he's currently going on the market for around 40,000 coins. I wouldn't say it's worth that much. You can definitely get better for less locks of Firmino um, I can't think of any more examples Alana's another one who's reasonably cheap and probably a little bit better if not just as good however I do think he'll come down in price and when he does come down to sort of the 20k or less mark which is what I think he will be eventually definitely worth picking up and sticking in your team but that is going to end up this play review lads if you did enjoy it like I said at the start leave a big thumbs up on this video that's always massively appreciated I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's video enjoy the rest of your evening lads need you out Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids, hey, you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free, it costs nothing. Peace.